You're listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. I'm John Stonge, and today we're in Ephesians chapter 6, and we'll be reading from the New Living Translation. Children, obey your parents because you belong to the Lord, for this is the right thing to do. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise. If you honor your father and mother, things will go well for you, and you will have a long life on the earth. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger by the way you treat them. Rather, bring them up with the discipline and instruction that comes from the Lord. Slaves, obey your earthly masters with deep respect and fear. Serve them sincerely as you would serve Christ. Try to please them all the time, not just when they are watching you. As slaves of Christ, do the will of God with all your heart. Work with enthusiasm, as though you were working for the Lord rather than for people. Remember that the Lord will reward each one of us for the good we do, whether we are slaves or free. Masters, treat your slaves in the same way. Don't threaten them. Remember, you both have the same master in heaven, and he has no favorites. A final word. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world against powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle, you will still be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news, so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all of these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Put on salvation as your helmet, and take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Pray in the Spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. And pray for me too. Ask God to give me the right words so I can boldly explain God's mysterious plan that the good news is for Jews and Gentiles alike. I am in chains now, still preaching this message as God's ambassador. So pray that I will keep on speaking boldly for him as I should. To bring you up to date, Tychicus will give you a full report about what I am doing and how I am getting along. He is a beloved brother and faithful helper in the Lord's work. I have sent him to you for this very purpose, to let you know how we are doing and to encourage you. Peace be with you, dear brothers and sisters, and may God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ give you love and faithfulness. May God's grace be eternally upon all who love our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word, and we thank you for the things that we learn from it. And Lord, as we look at this portion of Scripture, you give us multiple reminders of how we are to respond to one another within our biological families, but also within our Christian family. Children are called to respect their parents. Fathers are cautioned not to provoke their children to anger. And anyone who serves or leads in any capacity is called to honor you in that service and in that leadership. Lord, you also caution us to be mindful of the fact that we are not in a war with one another. There is a battle taking place, but it's a spiritual battle. And so you teach us in this portion of Scripture how we can be prepared for the spiritual battles and the deceitful schemes that the enemy, Satan, will try to throw in our way. Lord, help us to walk with you. Help us to be people who live out the truth of our salvation. 
Help us to be people who commit the truth of your word to our minds and to our hearts. By your grace, we pray that we would walk in the fruit of the Spirit, that we would apply the gospel of Jesus Christ to all aspects of our lives, that we would bring you glory in how we speak and in how we think and in how we respond to one another. And we're grateful for the challenge that you give to us from your word to be mindful of these very things. Lord, we pray for your protection to be upon us and upon our families. We pray that your hand of blessing and protection would be upon believers everywhere. And we're grateful, Lord, for the promise that we have in and through your Son, Jesus Christ, that a place in your kingdom and in your presence is right now being prepared for us. We're grateful for all of these reminders and all of these things that you teach us from your word. And we're grateful for your presence with us right now. We commit ourselves to you today, and we pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks again for listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. We're grateful for the privilege to be able to assist you as you seek to grow in your walk with Christ. But we'd also encourage you to become an active part in a Christ-centered, Bible-teaching local church. If you're already part of a local church, please be in prayer for your leaders and the ministry taking place in your church this weekend. And if you're not already part of a local church, please take a moment to ask the Lord to direct you to the church He desires you to fellowship with. Thanks again for listening, and have a wonderful day.